hey guys welcome back thank you guys so much for tuning in today i'll be showing you guys how i got this beautiful red smoky eye if you're interested on how to get this look just stay tuned and i'll show you exactly how i got it today in my look i'll be using a few palettes i'm gonna be using the huda beauty rose gold edition the huda beauty desert dusk palette and I'll be also using my Jaclyn Hill palette as well. I've already put powder on my eyes so I don't need to use any skin toned eyeshadow to set the concealer I have on my eye. From the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to use Silk Cream with a fluffy brush. And this is going to be my transition color. Just going to add that all on my crease like this. Circular motions, just blending this. I'm not being very precise with this color because I want this one to be all over the crease so the shadows that I do put on top of it, it will blend nicely. From the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'll go in with the shade Buns and I'll take Buns on my Sigma E38 brush and start adding this in my crease. I want my outer corner to be nice, dark, and smoky so I will add most of the color there. Now that I put Buns in my crease, I'm gonna go ahead and use Hanna on a like dome blending brush and I'm going to add some of that on my outer corner. I'm going to go back in with buns really quickly. And just blend this out a little bit. After adding Hannah on my outer corners, I'm going to go with Blood Moon from the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. And I'm going to apply that on my lid. With shadows like this, I like to use like a natural hair brush for this only because it picks up so much more product than a synthetic hairbrush and I know there's going to be other synthetic brushes that would be better than the synthetic brush that I have but with what I have a natural hairbrush like this one works perfect so I'm just going to go ahead and add this on the lid and it's going to be very opaque towards my lash line and then I'm going to be tapping the color to blend it further up after using Blood Moon I'm going to go in with, I'm just going to say this as O-U-D, and I'll be placing that on my outer corner. This is going to start building up depth in the outer corner. Even though I have some depth there, I want it to look more smoky. So I'm just going to keep adding darker colors, but keeping them a little bit closer to my lash line. I just really want it to look smoky in my outer corner. Going back in with the Huda Beauty Textured Eyeshadows, I'm going to use this black called Black Truffle. And I'm going to put that in my outer corners, but really closer to the lash line, blending that in. And because I like extraness, I like to go in with Oh Darling by MAC, which is like a blinging highlight. And I like to put that on my inner corner and my brow bone. As close as possible to my brow as after doing all of that I'll go back in with the Huda Beauty textured eyeshadow palette and use Hannah and start blending my lash line down I like to add the lighter colors first before I put any eyeliner on so it doesn't mix I'm gonna use a shade OUD add that on my lash line but this time, I'm going to add it a lot more closer to my lash line so I can start getting a gradient. After adding those shades, I'm going to go in with Feline Cold Pencil by MAC. And I'm going to add this in my waterline. After adding Feline into my waterline, I'll go back in with the Huda Beauty Textured Eyeshadows Palette and take Truffle on a definer brush. And go close to my lash line as possible and add this black. I'm also going to put some in my waterline to set the cold pencil. Then I'm going to go back in with this really small brush and, and take OUD and blend out the black with the brown now. Just going to go back in with Hannah now from the Huda Beauty Textured Eyeshadows Palette and blend that all out. I'm not adding any liner today so I'm just going to go back in with Black Truffle from the Huda Beauty Textured Eyeshadows Palette and add that to my lash line to make my lash line seem a little bit more thicker. After adding the liner I'm going to go in with mascara. I'm using my favorite Clinique mascara. It's the high impact one. 
after adding mascara i'll go ahead and use my lashes i'm really excited about these i went to walgreens and i legit stumbled upon these and i'm like nicole guerrero she has lashes so i have to use these I like to add the lash in the middle, scooch it over to the end, and clip on the inside. After that, I'm just going to go ahead and take my eyelash curl and curl these up a little bit. Give me a little slum slum, you know? I don't want them to be too straight up. After that, I'll just go back in with some more black truffle, cover up the lash band a little better. I definitely have to hide the glue that's on top. I'm just going to take a small brush with a little bit of Blood Moon and apply that right to it and hide it and boom just like new now i'm gonna go in with my highlight and it's gonna be maco darling it's not gonna be like oh my god blinding it's just gonna be a really soft one today my lip combination is gonna be my favorite combination i'm gonna use sephora's rosewood lip liner Then I'm going to take NARS's Slow Ride. And once I'm done, I'll go ahead and set my face. And the look is complete, you guys. Thank you so much for staying tuned, watching how I created this smoky eye. And I'll be back with the next one. Bye, guys.